Good day and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the Voice of Reason. So I wanted to do a, Af a war in Afghanistan uh, update. Um, obviously, uh, there is a lot going on uh, in this area uh, as we speak. Uh, the uh, Taliban, who launched a massive offensive, uh, which started around uh, May 1st, uh, continues uh, to uh, see uh, success in attacking and seizing uh, smaller uh, provincial capitals. Uh, the uh, the first uh, capital, provincial capital, obviously to fall, uh, took place uh, in the south, and uh, that was uh, uh, the city, uh, the city of uh, Zaranj. And uh, that was uh, taken uh, by the, the Taliban, and obviously it's very close to the border uh, with Iran, and it would seem that, that quite possibly the Iranians and the, and the Taliban um, are, uh, are, are somewhat uh, working uh, together. Uh, there, there does definitely appear to be some uh, assistance, obviously, by uh, the Iranians uh, towards uh, towards the Taliban, and uh, obviously that, that could that could change as well. Uh, th that uh, uh, relationship seems to ebb and flow uh, with the wind. Uh, but right now, the the real focus in fighting and uh, what the the military of Afghanistan is attempting to prevent is really the fall of some of these major capitals such as Herat, and we do know that the, uh, the Taliban are on the outlying districts and have in some cases infiltrated uh, the city itself. And uh, another uh, area of intense uh, conflict right now uh, outside of the, uh, of the uh, smaller provincial capitals um, is Kandahar. And again, this is a larger city. And uh, if, in fact, it was seized by the Taliban, there's, there's an active fight uh, ongoing in the outskirts of Kandahar. And uh, if this town were to fall, this city were to fall, it would be a significant, significant defeat for the, uh, the U.S.-backed Afghan government. Now, with that being said, uh, we are uh, hearing that the United States... Uh, is now uh, conducting uh, B-52 bombing missions uh, over Afghanistan. We also understand that there are now uh, C-130 gunships that are also uh, continuous, uh, continuing to operate uh, over Afghanistan. We have seen uh, the assassination of, of Afghanistan uh, pilots with their small air force and uh, we have seen in some cases that some of these pilots are starting to um, uh, become AWOL uh, and uh, are not reporting for duty uh, out of fear for themselves and then possibly their, their family members. But the situation is, uh, is very fluid right now. Uh, I, I would not say that we are witnessing the collapse of the, uh, of the uh, uh, Afghan uh, military apparatus but uh, the speed uh, at which the, uh, the Taliban is taking uh, many of these uh, outlying uh, provincial capitals is, is definitely uh, disturbing uh, if you are on the side of the Afghan government. And obviously, uh, the United States uh, sees that government as an ally and is, and is trying to support that government outside of the use of direct uh, boots on the ground. And uh, the, uh, the, the strategy right now is to simply provide uh, overwhelming uh, air power to assist uh, the, the Afghan government. Now, the problem is, is the, the level of competency in terms of the uh, Afghan army. Uh, they are, we're seeing signs of, of kind of what occurred many, many years ago, um, where upon contact with the Taliban, they, uh, they, they simply surrender and are, and are not fighting. There are units uh, inside of the Afghan army that are fighting. The, uh, the Afghan 
commando forces are obviously uh, putting up stiff resistance and are acting more as fire brigades around the country. But unfortunately, uh, the uh, the Afghan uh, commando forces uh, cannot solely achieve these efforts by themselves, and they have to re rely on the provincial uh, Afghan Army Corps to 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 assist them and continue to hold terrain and go after the uh, the Taliban militants. Unfortunately, we're not seeing that that happen. Uh, it is more likely that the Afghan army units dissolve and, and uh, do not put up stiff resistance in, in many cases. There, obviously, there are cases where they are engaging with the Taliban and fighting, and then obviously there's, there's situations where they simply aren't. Uh, there's also a significant uh, fight going on near uh, Mazar Sharif, and uh, that, that continues uh, as we speak. And that would be another uh, significant loss if... The, uh, the Taliban were to gain control of one of these really large cities, such as uh, um, Mazar-e Sharif, uh, again Kandahar, and then uh, and then possibly uh, Herat, and that would be uh, that would be a significant significant uh, defeat that could really that could really speed things up in terms of uh, seeing a, a Taliban victory. Uh, the government controls uh, Kabul now. We, we continue to get uh, situations where the Taliban uh, do infiltrate the city and conduct operations inside of the city uh, that, is, that are more of assassination attempts against leadership targets inside of Kabul. Um, but for the most part, uh, the city is, is defended in terms of uh, being able to face down a, a large-scale uh, move by Taliban forces to attack Kabul. Um, but given that it is a large city, uh, the Taliban are able to, to infiltrate, and obviously the Taliban are, are actually present inside of the city in terms of uh, localized, uh, uh, what we would define as resistant cells uh, that are operating inside of Kabul. But uh, the, the offensive that uh, has been launched by the Taliban, uh, the, uh, the, the May offensive when it started, is an extremely uh, large operation that encompasses the entire country, in which they are looking uh, to uh, to uh, to seize control of Afghanistan. And then the question is: is is the United States uh, is the the Biden administration the current uh, the uh, the current political party in charge of the United States? Are they willing to see Afghanistan fall into the hands of the Taliban? Uh, that would be a, uh, a very difficult political pill uh, to swallow uh, going into next election season. Obviously, the, the Republicans would be able to, uh, to state that the, the uh, Biden administration is weak on foreign policy, it's weak on, on the Taliban, and allow the Taliban to take over Afghanistan. And, and that would be something that I would have to say that the, the Biden administration would be reluctant to do and reluctant to have occur as there would be a very difficult proposition coming into the, ele the next election season. Uh, the, uh, the United States continues to obviously support uh, the Afghan government with a tremendous amount of air assets, and then the question is, is will that be enough? And, uh, and I would say that really kind of depends on the fortitude of the Afghan army. And uh, obviously, the uh, the uh, Afghan Special Operations Command, their commando uh, brigades, um, which operate in, in, in battalion-sized units, are, are really being stretched to uh, to go in and clean out uh, the Taliban as it as it takes over areas, especially these uh, uh, these provincial uh, capitals, as they have been doing. But right now, the uh, these these units. The better units of the Afghan army are really kind of focused right now on making sure Herat, they're making sure Kandahar, they're making sure uh, Mazari Sharif uh, does not fall, uh, as that would be a tremendous, tremendous uh, defeat uh, on the part um, of the Afghan government. Uh, we uh, continue to hear that right now 
uh, the uh, the Afghan government is focused on trying to uh, drive the Taliban out of Kunduz. Uh, the uh, the Taliban have indeed seized uh, most of the city and the uh, military forces in the city and the government structures uh, have fled to the sprawling air base uh, outside of the town as you can see on my map but uh, right now the focus is is trying to uh, retake Kunduz right now as we speak uh, will that happen and uh, we do know that again B-52 strikes are, are underway around Kunduz. We know that uh, we are also, meaning we, the United States, are also assisting the Afghan government with the uh, C-130 gunships and other air assets as well. Uh, we, would, we would probably at some point uh, start to see uh, U.S. special operations uh, start to possibly re-embed themselves with some of these Afghan units uh, if that decision is made to, to try and prevent some of these larger cities from falling and, and provide the, the much needed uh, combat uh, aircraft uh, control uh, to uh, assist in attacking some of these uh, Taliban formations uh, as they make moves on these larger cities. But uh, that is uh, currently what is occurring inside of Afghanistan. Uh, we will continue to monitor the situation uh, and report as it is a fairly significant event that is, that is occurring right now. Have a great day, everybody.